This video will introduce you to a variety of questioning strategies you can use to strengthen your active listening and improve mutual understanding. As you learned earlier in this module, people's needs aren't always clear, and it's up to us to ask the right questions to determine them. In addition to helping determine needs, questioning strategies can foster dialogue, elicit more detailed responses, guide a conversation in a particular direction, help us gather information, and most importantly, deepen what the other person has said. The first type of questioning that we will start with are open questions. Open questions can foster dialogue, elicit more detailed responses in a conversation, cannot be answered with simple statements and are not yes or no answers. Open questions generate more information. An example would be asking a colleague what they think of something or what plans they have for the project moving forward. Another type of question is an alternative question. These are questions that give choices that are thought out in advance. An example would be, if you asked a colleague, would you prefer to review this document together at two o'clock on Tuesday or at 8.30 on Wednesday? This type of question can be helpful when the conversation would benefit from the guidance or if people were having a hard time making a decision. Questions that deepen what the person has just said are another type of effective questioning strategy. Examples are mirror, follow-up, and leading questions. Mirror questions are used to return, like a mirror, what the person has said in a questioning form. A colleague says, I chose to use this tool to complete the rest of the project because it's more effective. A way to mirror that would be simply to say, more effective? The purpose of mirror questions is to show that you heard them and using the intonation of a question shows you are curious and want to know more. This is a simple and effective way to deepen a connection with someone in conversation. All you have to do to be successful at this type of questioning is basically repeat the last two words the person says in question form. Follow-up questions support us with gathering more information on what has been shared. These are useful when we are in a conversation where the other person isn't very detailed with their responses or when you aren't quite sure what was said. Examples of follow-up questions would be, tell me more about how or why, or can you please give me some better examples to help me understand? Or follow-up questions that can help you check for accuracy might sound like, I think I heard you say X. Did I understand that correctly? It sounds like you need X. Do I have that right? Or would you describe it differently? The last type of question we will cover are leading questions. These are more complex as they are both proposed solutions and a segue into another question. An example would be if you said to a colleague, have you considered collaborating with team B to increase alignment between content areas? These can be tricky to navigate because they can be received negatively, which may cut the conversation shorter than you expected, in which case you can keep asking questions until you have what you need. Despite the fact that many people enter into a conversation with good intentions, it's really common for our words to be ineffective. Some of the most common are trying to problem solve for the person, changing the subject, trying to analyze an issue, giving unsolicited advice, assuming you know what they're going to say, saying how much you understand a problem when really you don't, and the list goes on. The way to avoid making these mistakes is to implement questioning strategies into your conversations. Next up, an activity that gives you the chance to practice identifying how different question types are used in conversations.